the punchline, and I thought it'd be great uh, in honor of that to have actually Scott Capurro here. Would you welcome Scott Capurro? <laughs> I brought my uh, bag on stage because there's a lot of comics back there, so, uh... <laughs> Worse than homeless people. Hello, man. How are you? Nice shoulder. It's, uh... Women love gay men should be listened. It's so nice to, uh... That's all women want, someone who listen, and they got a lot to say. Blah, blah, fucking blah. Anyways, great to be here. A nice, great year for me, because I got married this year. Thank you. I, uh... We got married in City Hall in San Francisco. Wait, it gets gayer. Um, my sister officiated, and she's a lesbian, hello, and then she gave my husband and I a parking ticket afterwards because women can multitask, and uh, I never thought I'd get married because I'm gay enough for my sex life to continue, but I turned 51, which is like 80 in gay years, or 15 in pedophile ones, either way, I'm still working. Anyway, so, now I'm, and it's weird, you know, being married, but I had to say yes, my husband's black, namaste, and um, Turning down his proposal might have seemed racist, and I, uh, I can't be racist, I'm not from Fremont. But what is, I know, who is really here? Nobody with the future. Anyway, so, my husband's very black, I know, hot, he's, uh, he's so black he's purple, and, um, shiny, and, uh, I like all that urban, mm -hmm. I can do a lot of urban speak because I got a bit of black in me, and, um, about an eighth of an ounce. But anyway, he's, um, I'm keeping it clean. Back off, Jesus. This is my Saturday morning set. Anyway, he's, um, dark black with green eyes and he dyed his hair red. I know. It's like getting banged by a bag of Skittles. And that's, that's the last line I'll cross. Anyway, so, nice to be back in San Francisco. You got a lot of rules here, but it's, um, still kind of fun, you know, getting married and all that, exciting. We were offered, we were asked when we got married, we were asked which religious text we'd like read at our wedding. I know, who knew? We were asked if we wanted the Bible read, and we thought about it, because my husband's evangelical, which isn't just his drag name, he believes that shit. And, um, but we couldn't have the Bible read, because the only true union is with Jesus. And I can't marry Jesus, I can't trust a guy who can't remember his own safe word. So then we, um, I know, long car ride home, I know. They'll read about it online anyway, relax, not my responsibility, but... We thought about having the Old Testament read, because I love the Jews. Any Jews today? Any Jews? In the back where they belong. I love, um, <laughs> they like the easy exit. But I do love, uh, I love that I can say Jew, nobody minds. In LA, they're so touchy. You know LA, you say Jew, but it's racist, you're gonna burn in hell. You're not gonna burn in hell for saying Jew. You only burn in hell if you are a Jew. There I go quoting the Bible again. But anyway, I love the Jews. I love the Old Testament, which is strange, because it says the Jews don't believe in hell. Which is so weird because I grew up in Daly City. So anyway, I didn't really grow up in life. We thought about then having the Koran read. Are there any radical Muslim fundamentalists here today? If there are, back to yourself and enjoy the Cuban cuisine. I do love uh, the Koran is amazing, right? There's a talking ant in the Koran. I know a talking ant. Who knew Pixar wrote the Koran? Who knew? Muhammad and Walt Disney were the same person. But anyway, so, we're kind of in San Francisco because I'm looking for a place to dump my mother's ashes. Not as easy as it sounds because people here are so precious about the organic gardens. My, um, my mother died last year. We weren't close because I'm an abortion survivor. And uh, I've got the coat hanger marks behind my ears to prove it. We, um, yeah, she was old school. But anyway, keep it clean, everybody. Anyway, so, now she's in an urn and I'm here. I think she got off easy. But we had her uh, had her cremated after she died because we're not German. So we're looking for a place. Again, these are historical references. Do keep up. So, not my problem if you don't read. So we have her, uh, she's in the back, back seat right now if you want to visit. My sister, my sister bought a ceramic urn because she's a Virgo. I believe in transparency. I wanted a glass urn because my mom had bridge work and a fake eye. We could shake at the funeral. Mary Oxygen, doing it for the kids. But everyone grieves differently, I guess. So, <laughs> and the weird thing, is it almost over? It's almost over. Anyway, weird thing, 
about grieving. I went on the road to deal with the grief, right? So I started a tour in Central, where was I? California. And America's strange. The coastal cities are nice where people still read. But when you drive away from the ocean, it's like you take your life into your own well-managed hands. The farther you're going to see, the stupider people are. Maybe they're not stupid. Maybe they're just dehydrated. I don't know. But we were in Merced. Oh, my God. I think... I know. I know. For my sins. The guy's like, so we're... Where are you from? I'm from San Francisco about 30 years that way. We should have never, ever repaired that bridge. What were we thinking? Because now, they can just crawl or waddle right in. It's, um, San Francisco, that's where all them homosexuals are from, right? Everyone knows that. Wait a minute, you're wearing shoes. I bet that means he's one of them gays and passport owning, white wine drinking, blah, 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 homosexual. Me, that's crazy. <laughs> No, I'm English. It's the same. My husband's kind of the reason I voted for Obama. I assume they know each other. I am... Um, he's online a lot. I wanted to vote for Hillary, you know, because she's a monster, but I thought that black guy should have a chance to screw it up a little bit more. And Obama does lie. Like, he says we're going to pull out of the Middle East, but we're still in Afghanistan. But then black guys say they're going to pull out all the time. You know what I'm talking about? And they don't. That's how some of us got here. But also... Obama made it legal, and I'm angry, the gays know, all three of them. Obama made it legal, I know, you put up a bush or a tree, the gays start cruising it, but Obama made it legal, I can smell the resentment, there's gays cruising, I, Obama made it legal for gay men to join the military, and I think killing people is wrong. Well, men, at least, because women are a bit chatty, and um, you have a lot of feelings, which is why you're not funny, but I find, mystery solved, but I find, I, why am I still alive? I find Muslim... I find Muslim men far too attractive to kill. I don't know what I would do in combat if I came face to face with the enemy and he was hot. Okay, Muhammad, on your knees. <laughs> don't make me shoot. Enjoy the grass. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you.